Right now is probably the best time to invest in CSGO cases. CS2 is coming very soon and with it I think that another mass unboxing hype is very likely to come. Also most cases are at their cheapest price in the past months and so I'll show you the best case investments right now and what I'm invested in. Now of course I will not be selling any of the cases that I'll be showing in here, my two accounts are on the descriptions and their inventories are public. And to help you guys start out with investing, I'll be giving away this AWP Hyper Beast in the pinned comment down below. Now the first case category that will be decent investments is what I call the case investments for pussy. These includes the Spectrum cases, the Chroma cases, and the Gamma cases. These cases are fundamentally good CSGO investments. The two Spectrum and the three Chroma cases has the Chroma finishes which has the Doppler, and the two Gamma cases has the Gamma finishes which both has the Gamma Dopplers which are very insane in CS2. Now my only problem for these cases and why I call these investments pussy investments is that these cases are very good investments. In fact, they are probably the most fundamentally good case investments you can make right now. However, there are some slightly less fundamentally good case investments out there that are less than a dollar each, while all of these cases cost at least two dollars each. And in the CS market, it just so happens that the cost of the case is very important, since a 60 cent case going to one dollar and twenty cents is much more likely than a three dollar case going to six dollars. Now before we talk about these slightly less fundamentally good cases, it is important to note that most CS cases will be decent investment. However, there will be some that you definitely should stay away from. So the number one cases not to invest in are the cases that are already at an insanely high price point. Cases like the Bravo case, the Weapon case, and basically any of these cases that are already $10 or above. This insanely high price has many ripple effects on many other aspects that makes a case a good investment. For example, since the price of these cases are already so high, very few people actually unbox these things with most of them having less than 15,000 unboxings per month. And since opening these cases costs a lot, the return percent that you'll be getting from opening them are very low compared to when you open a case that only costs $1. So make sure to avoid these. Also make sure to avoid anything on the active drop. 99% of the case drops of players are in the active drop pools, so the supply of these cases are pretty much infinite. Now there was a time when the cases from the active duty drop pool rose in price so much after the CS2 hype, but they quickly crashed and burned compared to other cases after the hype died down. And hopefully people have learned their lesson. Now there is a chance that there is an insane hype in CS2 which could bring up the prices of these cases. But why invest in something in the active drop pool when you can get the same rises in prices with the rare drop pool cases if there is a massive unboxing hype but still go up even if there is no hype. Now since the active drop pool cases are out of the question, this only leaves us with the cases in the rare drop pool and discontinued cases. Are you sick and tired of your terrible skins and want good skins like this in here? Then make sure to check out Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a site where you can trade your terrible skins for good skins instantly. So you can also buy these skins where you can get a 35% bonus on your deposits. So Skins Monkey is also giving you guys a free $5 on your first trade and all you have to do is put in my code ELSU. So make sure to check out Skins Monkey, link will be in the description. Description. Now the first case that I'll recommend to you guys will be the Danger Zone case. Now these cases have been the second most unboxed case that is not in the active duty drop pool and it also has amazing reds, a decent pink, and most importantly good freaking knives. The Danger Zone case has the fade finishes which is probably one of the most buff skins in CS2 next to the Doppers. And it also has the case hardened finish so you could have a chance to get the talent blue gem which costs upwards of 50,000 US dollars. Now some people also pair the Horizon case with the Danger Zone case since they both have amazing reds, a good pinks, and the same knife. But I personally think that the Danger Zone case has way more upside compared to the Horizon case since it is literally being unboxed 2.5 times more than the Horizon case and it is also on a cheaper price point right now. Now if you want to know how many cases I have invested in, make sure to stay until the end. So the next case that I recommend to you guys is the Prisma 1 and the Prisma 2 case. These cases also has the Chroma finishes but unlike the Chroma and the Spectrum cases which cost more than $2, these only cost $0.65. Cents. To add to this, they both have a very good return when opening them with the Prisma case having the 6th best return and the Prisma 2 case having the 13th best return. And this is led these two to be the third and fourth most open cases outside of the cases that are being actively dropped. Now in terms of what is better between the two, I personally find the Prisma 2 case to have the slight edge in terms of case investments. Since it is being unboxed 250,000 times more per month and the Prisma 2 case also has slightly better skins in my opinion. Since both of the reds and the AK Phantom Disruptor are very decent, meanwhile in the Prisma 1, only the Emperor and the Atlas are quite good. Now another point of discussion is if the Clutch case is a good investment. Many people are heavily invested in the Clutch case since it is the most unboxed case 
days of all time. But personally, I think that this won't be as good of an investment as some people make it out to be. Now, the biggest reason for this is this case right here. Now, the clutch case has fucking terrible skins. Most of them suck ass, and this one is decent maybe. But to be honest, if you are opening a clutch case, you aren't really doing it for the skins. You're doing it for the gold. These gloves have been so expensive, and the cheapest way to unbox a glove is through the clutch case. But this is where this case right here comes in. The Revolution case is, in my opinion, the best case to ever release in CSGO. It has S plus tier reds and a very good pink. And for the cherry on top, it also has the gloves from the clutch case. Because of this, for the longest time, the Revolution cases used to be expensive as hell. They costed more than $2 4 months after the release, but recently their price has started dropping. It's now only $1, and when the Revolution case has the same price as the clutch case, there is definitely no reason to start opening these clutch cases anymore, since it is basically the same case but 100 times better skins. Now in terms of the discontinued cases, the standard rules for judging cases don't really apply to them. They generally have low ROI and low unboxing numbers since there are very few left, but the case that I have the most faith will rise in price will be the Shattered Web case. Now to be fair, this case only has decent skins, but its one turning point is its knives. However, the Fractured case which is in the active drop pool also shares the same set of knives with it. But since the Fractured case has been the oldest case in the active drop pool and with the release of CS2 99% sure coming with a new case, there is a good chance that this fracture case will be removed from the active draw pool and with it, it could bring some unboxing attention to the already limited number of shattered web cases around which will be very nice. Now if you want to know my current case investments, here it is. And if you don't know me, I have been living off of CSGO trade-ups for the past years and have made more than $7,000 just this year. So if you want to see how to get a free knife just with CSGO trade-ups, make sure to check out this video. Otherwise, peace out guys.